Hiya, Dr. Allison JK here. Really happy you're joining me. I'm so excited for the energies that are coming up. So you may want to go look at last week's video that I did because I was already intuiting and channeling what is coming for the energies, what will help you the most because we're entering into really different and new energies. We have coming up this week, uh, lunar eclipse that is on a new axis with different signs. So it's going to have a different energy. And then following, I believe on the 7th of October, we then have a new moon with the solar eclipse. And these are in different signs and what we have had for the last two years as eclipses operate. And then we also have the equinox coming up next weekend. And from the energetics that I've been able to perceive in this role that I'm in as guiding through humanity's greatest evolutionary leap 2012 to 2032, we're at a stage right now where it seems that everything that I've been talking about is, is coming true. So all of this talk about, you know, the energy precedes matter, really working with your capacity to allow yourself to move beyond limiting patterns and make choices that are corresponding to what your heart and how yourself are seeing as like your most desired life, the highest potential, as many of you who receive my clearings and activations have heard me say for what feels like ever at this point, into physical reality. And so that includes too, it seems like for Tuesday's full moon and lunar eclipse, some of the uh, energetics I'm going to run clearings and activations for, for people in my Activate Your Magic program. One of them that's really struck out at me is like, if you had a dream at some point in your life, like let's say to be a surfer, um, which I did, I owned a surfboard when I, and I've always been around surfing. Um, when I lived in Taiwan and I was learning to surf, and then I left and gave my surfboard away. It wasn't a, I had bought it from another outgoing expat um, colleague teacher. And so it wasn't a big expense, but it was a fantastic board. And so that got interrupted. And so another uh, dream I've had uh, that I really love watching people do. So I have a background in skiing, right? I, and, and grew up like it's starting at age six skiing. Um, but I've not really ever boarded because I like the elegance of the skis. So then there's that transfer onto water with the kite surfing. And I remember that was coming in as I was living in Taiwan and I would go to the beach with the intention and uh, to where my surfer was stored to go surfing. And yet I would see the kite surfers out there too. And I, I, when I came back to Florida, I looked into it and there are local lessons, but then my life picked up, right? The business picked up and I just building it and, and, and life got in the way. So this is a great personal example of a dream you've had for yourself. That's uplifting, you know, that's exciting. That's something like, who were you wanting to be and life got in the way? Like a really aligned part of you. And so for me, the adventure, the fun via sports and, and in particular with association with water, that's all a part of who I, 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 I have always been. I threw myself into the pool. I think it, my mom said at age three and she asked my dad, you need to teach her how to swim so she doesn't drown in our backyard pool. So I've been a fish my whole life. I used to actually teach both swimming and um, skiing when I was a teenager. So um, there's this like rebirth energy too, to what, you probably just perceive that and receive that, right? And yet there's also this sense too, I'm aware of um, that people need help with to enable, allow yourself and enable yourself to make those choices freer than ever before of the conclusions of I don't have the time or the expectations and projections of that's going to cost too much money. I don't have the money for that really clearing out the noise from the ego mind's resistance to taking steps that will uplift your life and that are new and different than the habit, the status quo, because that is what the ego mind prefers. So like really reigniting yourself, there is a sense of ignition and spark in the energetics that I can perceive now um, 
and that are coming in to help us with this too. As always, you know, I mean, where we're meant to be going in what's considered humanity's greatest evolutionary leap between 2012 and 2032, there has always been the support. It's been so phenomenal through as I've been tracking along once I learned about it, having my weekly radio show for two and a half years about what happened on December 21st, 2012, and actually being a Chichen Itza when that happened. Um, as one of the experts talking about it, because by then I had interviewed so many experts I understood, and now I've written a couple of books, right? Of the four books are focused on this time. So I've been tracking from then, even before, like in 2011, through this great shift. And it seems like really one of the core teachings in, in quantum physics has finally gotten on board with this from traditional Chinese medicine is where qi goes or energy goes, blood follows, right? And I've been saying for quite a lot of years now, it's actually where our consciousness goes, then the energy follows. So you could even look in front of the consciousness where our focus goes. The, in, in, in the increasingly, in this, what's also known as humanity spiritual awakening, we're having more and more subtle energies available to us to work with as the vibrational backdrop changes from that really physicalized Newtonian one to the more subtle energetically based vibrational backdrop that quantum physics brings in, recognizing that where we focus, the energy follows and then the physical follows. So really implementing that and living from that um, in the coming six months and years, we're moving now into that which um, I have been talking about for well over a decade. <laughs> so it's very exciting um, because it feels too like we're all along the way, the cosmos has always gotten our back is what I was leading into saying. Uh, when I have then looked into the astrology after what I've been perceiving, tuning into what's happening and how best to serve is always the cosmos with their alignments and what the planets are doing are, are, the, are, are not only supporting us, but somewhat the catalyst. So you could be like on the front lines, on the cutting edge of consciousness, which is something that I've talked about for years, and be proactive, right? Or you could be reactive back here. But what we're really being called to move into is that co-creative musculature, where you are proactive, and you're not just reactive, like, oh, no, the economy, I must uh, worry about, oh, no, now let me join in with what everybody else is saying, not enough money. Creating your own reality, making choices that will create that into the physical, and working with your consciousness so that you can see more possibilities and make those choices. So if you procrastinate or you self-sabotage or I'm unworthy to have what I desire, as well as those projections of the expectations from the definitions of I don't ha I won't have time for that I won't have money for that like it is now time where we are going to be even more our efforts will gain us more fruitful harvest which I'm really excited because I'm going to be focusing on that on the upcoming equinox event gaining a fruitful harvest not only from all the work you've done on yourself but now it's going to it seems like get easier to do everything I've been talking about uh, for well over a decade. So I'm going to put the Equinox event, which is this coming Wednesday. Don't worry. If, I mean, this is obviously timeless uh, when you see this. This coming Wednesday, I think it's the 18th of September, 2024, is the Equinox event. The Equinox actually happens next Sunday on the 22nd of September. However, I'm putting it right after the full moon lunar eclipse to gain the power from that because the energetics are quite um, like two strong pillars between the full moon equinox, the full moon lunar eclipse and then the equinox. And so we'll have it the day after the, the equinox event, the day after the full moon lunar eclipse, because any work you do within consciousness and energy three days before and three days after a full moon is affected and empowered by that full moon and then you'll have the clearings and activations to, as you as we move towards Sunday the equinox event to get the most gain out of the beautiful energetics of this upcoming equinox it's also the lowest price live event of 2024 that I'm offering there is so much um, as we turn the corner into the fourth 
quarter. Their, our energetics are going to help us evaluate and, and uh, the year and where we're at and where we want to be in this last quarter by the end of the year. And I'll be bringing clearings and activations to increase that clarity as well as to receive harvest and bounty from all of the hard work you've put into yourself in your personal development. Woohoo! And then get in touch with even more ignition and spark to really be choosing what it is that you've been shying away from, but hearing niggling like in your heart and, and that excites you. Um, and with more grace and ease than ever before, like the super achieving, the pushing, the forcing, the making it happen. Uh, uh the energetics are aligning in such a way that really welcome us to co-creating our new era. And it, and it starts now. It has already started, but the energetics coming up are really ripe to physicalize out of the, the energetics onto the material plane, this new era, this new golden era. So harvest and bounty and having reflection over um, where you've been this year and then gaining more clarity and in, in connection with your intuition to help you see where it is you wanna go in this last quarter of 2024. Um, there's j just go to the landing page for the Equinox event. There's a, and, and, and wait, because it's going to take some twists. You're going to be surprised by what is being brought in on this event. Um, so take the opportunity to watch your expectations and projections onto what you think the direction is I'm going by the time you get to the bottom of all that we're going to be doing on the Equinox event on Wednesday night, the 18th. All right, lovelies. Fantastic time to be in a body on planet Earth. Many blessings. Letting go of the struggle paradigm, right? And if you're addicted to the struggle paradigm, I'm not the right mentor for you. Living in the possibilities as we co-create way more harmonic unity and prosperity and well-being and joy. Yeah? Namaste.